guys, it's Red Raider. Um, I'm coming up with another video today of a scope. So, uh, let's get into it. <coughs> so, right here, we have a EOTech. Most people, you, uh, most people know, uh, what the EOTech is due to its, uh, demand. Uh, it's a very well-known scope. Um, this is also known as the holographic scope, if any of you guys know that. Um, so let's get into it. Um, there's nothing really much about the scope other than it's just amazing. Um, it's a red-green dot, but I'm pretty sure some scopes only have the red dot feature, but I'll turn it on so you guys can see. So, there's the red dot version, which is nice. And then when you push the middle button right here, focus, there we go, NV, that switches the color, and so that's the green one. So yeah, um, you push both up and down buttons right here, at the same time, and it turns off. Um, one of the things that I, the two things that I'm most impressed with through the scope is, um, the first part being, it has a quick detach point right here, so you can quickly unscrew it and screw it off or uns um, put, put it back on your gun in a very short time. Also, um, right here, this latch, so normally guns come with some crazy batteries, right? So with this, it's definitely not the case. So take this out. Hang on, it's hard to do with one hand. I'm going to put the camera right here. There we go. Pop this part out. And it is powered by double A's, which is very handy because double A's are easy to find, unlike those circle batteries, like in scopes such as this NC Star cantilever. It's a good scope, it's just the batteries, you know, the batteries are hard to find, so. I like how this has double A's in it. Um, so, I'm gonna put this here. Oh, I put it back on. Uh, here, hang on. Just put this down. And, when you get this back on, simply take this latch, push it down, and press the up or down button. So up, and it's back on. So yeah. So um, yeah, this is a really nice scope. Oh no, um, this was around sixty-five bucks. Um, it's made out of a uh, metal, metal aluminum body. Except this, this plastic, this is plastic, yeah. Actually, it, it's probably some polymer, actually. This is polymer, and this is plastic. Um, one thing that I recommend, though, normally I don't like scope covers, but this, um, the shield, it's so sturdy. I mean, this thing could take BBs all day, and it won't shatter, so. And it doesn't, like, mess up your, uh, vision, because sometimes it blurs it and stuff. And it looks pretty well, as you can see, down the scope. Um, so, you know, that's good. Um, so, yeah, guys, I definitely recommend this. Again, 65 bucks. Um, definitely worth the money, though, if you're looking to get a scope. Um, this is the long type version, but the short type is basically the version cut off about right there. Um, so, yeah. Um, that's basically it, guys. I hope you guys, um, uh, enjoyed the review and found it, um, helpful. So, this is Red Raider signing out. Peace, guys.